Okay, so today I'm going to show you guys how to build security cameras. These are actually pretty simple, believe it or not. So let's go ahead and get ourselves a switch here. There we go. Now what we need to do is we have to create a control scheme here. What we also need to do is make sure that it's deactivated by default. That way we don't push the button accidentally. Okay, we'll see why. Let's make sure we can reuse this. Alright, now we're going to set up two button options. Starters. We need these event pieces. Two of those. What we're going to do is set this to the D pad. This will be taunt two. And this will be taunt four. This is going to be right and this is going to be left. So we push right on here or to go right and push left on here or to go left. If you want to proof, I'll go here. See on the D pad there? Taunt two is uh, right and taunt four is left. So we're going to use that to switch between cameras. Okay, there we go. We're also going to use it for an integer. This one will plus, and this one will minus. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and set this from 1 to 4. And the reason for that is because we got four different rooms we're going to put cameras in. Okay, so that way we know they're working. And as a bonus, we need to make another button for the Y button so we can get out of here. Actually, I'll make it the X button. It's, uh user input one. That's that's the X button, so we'll do that for that. Okay. That should be set up properly. Okay. Let's put our cameras in. So let's go ahead and start this one. Now, what you do, integer compare, we need this. Equals, enable the camera. Then, let's get that controller input. Pressed. That'll be our X button. Now stop the camera. Use number one. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our these two. What these are going to do is they're going to test this thing over and over again. We need that because if it's not being tested, it's not going to work. We also go here, set up our integer. Okay. That looks good. Okay. Now we just got to put this in all four rooms. So let's copy it. One in there. If I got space for this. And we put one in here. Mm -hmm. 
Now we're going to go through all four of these cameras and set their numbers. One through four, so this is going to be one. That'll be two. This will be three. And this will be four. Oh yeah, I forgot we gotta put a minor delay on the uh, testing. That way um, it enables when you want it to enable. I always forget that part. Okay, and with that said, that should work just fine. Let's double check our work. We're looking good. Okay. Okay, so now we push the button, it should activate our cameras. And I screwed up. <laughs> I messed up one thing. Ah! <clears throat> there was one thing I screw up on. We need to make sure that they are tested right when we push the button. There we go. Okay, now it should work. That's the thing about game development. You mess up one thing and it doesn't work. Now we push it. Select our cameras just fine. Using the D pad, working good. Want to quit? There we go. Oh, real easy. There you go. That's how you make a security camera system. Real easy. Not that hard to build. You just got to know what to do, what to do and when to do it. Yeah, now the reason why that worked because the integer, you only need one for this, which is actually easy. It's better than putting out like five of them trying to figure them all out. And the thing is, when this integer meets certain numbers, it just activates that camera. See? And that's how that works. It's actually real simple to figure out. You just need something to keep testing these so that when they're tested, it'll activate. If it's not tested, it won't do anything. And that's it. So that being said, thank you very much for watching, and you all take care.